Shalom to the elect of Israel, to the hopeful elect of Israel. You Hebrew Israelites, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, West Indian, and Haitians. Gotta give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, the Most High, the Heavenly Father. His name in the Hebrew is Yahweh, not Yahweh, not Jehovah, not God, not Elohim, not Most High, not Lord, not Jah, not Yah, not Ahiah. It's Yahweh. His only begotten son name is Yahweh Shah, not Yahshua, not Yeshua, not Jesus Christos, not Jesus Christ, not Serapis Christus, not Yahushua, not Yeshia. It's Yahweh Shah. So gotta give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh. Bahashim, Yahweh Shah, Bahashim, Rekah Quadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well, who teach well, and a sincere salutation to all the Akim pushing this truth and believing this truth throughout the four winds of the earth, the entire world, waking up the hopeful elect. And Shalom to the Akwa who are listening and learning, the few sisters who are listening and learning. I'm Isaiah from the GMS Orlando Camp, coming at you another lesson in truth, facts, faith, and edification, another daily edification. The Lord's willing, this be edifying. And this is for educational purposes only this lesson is for educational purposes only lord's willing this be edifying and this is the chariots of israel On February the 29th, 2020, Stereo A, one of the cameras that observes the sun, caught this interesting craft in our solar system. Now the footage was only four seconds long before the camera's malfunctioned, and then guess what, started working after this thing passed. But please, take a look at this. This is pretty spectacular. Guys, this one has to have the wow factor to it. I mean, if you just look at the very size of this thing, this thing is huge. You can see the planets lining up still next to it, Venus, Earth, Mercury, and this thing is bigger than them, but it's all a perception of distance. This thing could be further away, and if it's further away, this is a really huge ship. And if it's closer, then it's small, but there's something there, it's, it's big. Still big enough to put a few people in, but this thing. You already said, still big enough to put a, a few peoples in. What you're seeing is, it's a chariot, man. What the world ignorant call a UFO or a spaceship. Here. I mean, it's, you can tell this doesn't look like our space station, no way. It doesn't look like any satellite that I've seen up in the sky. I mean, this thing. To be honest, when I first saw the footage, I thought of Ezekiel's wheel, and that's what came into my mind. And I did look at the pictures of it, and it's very similar. This circle with a cross between it. But and that's what it is, man. When you go to Ezekiel chapter 1, you heard what he said. He thought of Ezekiel's wheel, and that's what it is. It's Ezekiel chapter 1. And verse 4, And I looked, and behold, a whirlwind came out of the north, a great cloud, and a fire enfolding itself, and a brightness was about it, and by the midst thereof, at the color of amber, out of the midst of the fire. <clears throat> now that's going into the angels. But the point is, Ezekiel said, And I looked, and behold, a whirlwind came out of the north, a great cloud, and a fire enfolding itself. When you jump down to verse 16, Ezekiel 1 and 16, the appearance of the wheels and their work was like unto the color of a barrel 
and the four had one light going into the angels. And their appearance and their work was as it were a wheel in the middle of a wheel. So that's what it is, man. A wheel inside of a wheel. You know, look at this video, man. And look at the footage and make of it what you will. But I think this one is pretty spectacular. And NASA's going to have to have some explaining for this. So enjoy. Until next time. The wheel inside of a wheel. <clears throat> and the Lord is coming back with his chariots. As the scriptures say. Now this is Psalms 68 and 17. It reads. The chariots of power are 20,000. Even thousands of angels. The Lord is among them as in Sinai. In the holy place. So the chariots of the most high Yahweh, Baha Shimi are twenty thousand, even thousands of angels. Now when you see this, the the elites know, the higher ups, they know what they are. You got brothers that do videos on them all the time about the chariots. What did the scriptures say? When Yahweh was risen, when he took the disciples with him. What happened to him? As they were standing there, he was beating them into a chariot. Right? Let's read this. this is by Ezekiel. <clears throat> this is Second Kings, chapter two. And. Just to read the point. Matter of fact, let me read one. And it came to pass when the Lord would take up when would take up Elijah into heaven by a whirlwind, that Elijah went with Elisha from Gilgal. And, and Elijah said unto Elisha, Terry Hill, I pray thee, for the Lord have sent me to Bethel. And Elisha said unto him, As the Lord liveth, and as thy soul live, I will not leave thee. So they went down to Bethel. And the sons of the prophets that were at Bethel came forth to Elisha and said unto him, Knowest thou that the Lord would take away thy master from the head today? And he said, Yeah, I know it. Hold your peace. And Elijah said unto him, Elisha, tarry here. I pray thee, for the Lord hath sent me to Jericho. And he said, As the Lord liveth, as thy soul liveth, I will not leave thee. So they came to Jericho. And the sons of the prophets that were at Jericho said to Elisha, came to Elisha and said unto him, Knowest thou that the Lord would take away thy master from thy head today? And he answered, Yeah, I know it. Hold your peace. And Elijah said unto him, Tarry, I pray thee, for the Lord hath sent me to Jordan. And he said, As the Lord liveth, as thy soul liveth, I will not leave thee. And they too went on. And fifty men of the sons of the prophets went and stood to view afar off. And they too stood by Jordan. And Elijah took his mantle and wrapped it together and smote the waters. And they were divided hither and thither. So they, so that they too went over on dry ground. So that's showing you right there that Elijah, that he parted the Jordan. And it came to pass when they were gone over that Elijah said unto Elisha, Ask what I shall do for thee before I be taken away from thee. And Elisha said, I pray thee, let a double portion of thy spirit be upon me. And he said, Thou hast asked a hard thing. Nevertheless, if thou see me, when I am taken from thee, it shall be so unto thee, but if not, it shall not be so. 
And it came to pass as they went on and talking that behold, there appeared a chariot of fire and horses of fire and parted them both asunder. And Elijah went up by a whirlwind into heaven. And Elisha said, and Elisha saw it and cried, My father, my father, the chariot of Israel and the horsemen thereof. And he saw him no more. And he took hold of his own clothes and rent them in two pieces. This is <clears throat> Zechariah chapter 5 and 1. It reads, Then I turned and lifted up my eyes and looked and behold a flying robe. And he said unto me, What seest thou? And I answered, I see a flying robe. The length thereof is twenty cubits. And the breadth thereof ten cubits. Then he said unto me, This is the curse that goeth forth over the face of the whole earth. That's why brothers constantly do videos on it, man. The chariots be seen all over the world. For every one that stilleth shall be cut off as on this side, according to it. And every one that sweareth shall be cut off as on that side, according to it. Who would I talk about? The wicked of the earth. I will bring it forth, saith the Lord Yahweh, and it shall enter into the house of the thief. But John 10 and 10 say, a thief come not but to steal and to kill and to destroy. It tell you that in uh, Exodus 21 and 16. Who sold that still for man, right? And if he still be found in his hand, he shall should be put to death. Ezekiel 5 and 4, I will bring it forth, talking about the chariots, saith the Lord Yahweh of hosts. And it shall enter into the house of the thief and into the house of him that swear falsely by my name. Talking about two thirds of the heathen and two thirds of the wicked, which is of Israel. And it shall remain in the midst of his house and shall consume it with the timber thereof and the stone thereof. What is that talking about? Chariots. Chariots, man. <clears throat> this is, um, Matter of fact, let's play this. Oh, let me get this. Genesis chapter 5 and 23. And it reads. In all the days of Enoch were 300, 360 and five years. And Enoch walked with power and he was not for power took him. Enoch got took the same way Elijah did up into a chariot. Let's play this. Now you can see this is the movie Independence Day Resurrection. That's the chariot that land that's that's is showing hovering over the earth. Now the chariot that the brother just showed on that video that I just showed right here. That chariot is out there coming, man. What the scripture tell you, Yahweh is coming with, um, I read it in uh, Psalm 68 and 17. The chariots of the Lord are 20,000, even thousands of angels. So they showing you right here. Well, I'm going to play this clip. Don't need the sound. It's showing you right here. I beat the charity of when it's coming. It's in the movie Independence Day Resurrection, the second movie. Because the chariot is going to be bigger than the earth, man. You can see the force field in, in the movie, how it's pushing everything back. Them chariots of the Heavenly Father Yahweh he is on the way.
This is um Isaiah. 31 and verse 5. And it reads, As birds flying, so will the Lord of hosts defend Jerusalem. Look at that big chariot. Defending also, he will deliver it. And passing over, he will preserve it. Again, Isaiah 31 and 5. As birds flying, so will the Lord of hosts defend Jerusalem. Defending also, he will deliver it. And passing over, he will preserve it. See, they know about these chariots, man. But you still got two-thirds of Jake <clears throat> that don't believe. Gigantic chariots, as the scriptures say. Now, let me get back to the part that I want. Just to show you, it's chariot, man. You see that, man? That cherry. And they showing you. Why? Because they know the truth, man. Let's get this. It's a lucky for that because I had it queued up. Now the guy showed you in the movie, the guy showed you in the clip that the chariot that was coming, the wheel inside of a wheel, he called it Ezekiel's wheel, that it was bigger than Earth, man. Okay, it was bigger than all the it was bigger than all the planets. It's bigger than Earth. And why would they make a movie to show you the chariots, man, that cover the entire Earth? Why would they make movies like this? Because they read the scriptures, man. They know. Now look at this. Now the scripture tell you that he uses the clouds as his chariots, right? Why would they have in this movie a so-called spaceship UFO coming out of the midst of a cloud, man? Out of clouds. Because they know, man. They know. They know. Just like the movie, they know. Why would they have a chariot to cover the entire planet? In this movie, or in here, they have uh, on this first. This is the first one. They had, see that they had chariot. Look how big the chariot is, man. Cover the entire and to cover the entire state. It was a chariot hovering over every state in this movie, every country. Why would they do that? Because they know the truth. What are they coming to do? What are the chariots coming to do? They coming to save the hopefully lack of Israel. That's what they coming to do. Let's play this. The chariots are coming to save you Negro, Latino, Native Americans, West Indian and Haitians. This is another movie that I did a video on some a while ago. This is the end. Showing you when people get beamed up 
into the chariots. Because the whole point of the chariots is what? To save the elected Israel and to destroy the world, man. Okay? Now, I like to pause it because you see right here, you see this person getting beamed up out of their car, man. Right up out of their car. You see that? Let me play it again. Play it again. Getting beamed right up out the car. But this is what's going to happen, man. You see how he was left there to see that? Hey, what the scripture say? You see that? That's what the chariots is for, man. The chariots are the, for to the come save Israel, man. You play it again. And we know only Israelites, the elect, Negro, Latino, Native Americans, West Indian and Haitians, is going to get beaten up into the chariots. You see? You see though? Getting beaten right on up out of here, man. This is, again, Isaiah 31 and 5. As birds flying, so will the Lord of hosts defend Jerusalem. Defending also, he will deliver it, and passing over, he will preserve it. Now, this is Isaiah 26 and 20. It reads, Come, my people, enter thou into thy chambers. And shut the doors, and shut thy doors about thee. Hide thyself as it were, as it were for a little moment, until the indignation be overpowered. What indignation? From the missiles, man. It tell you that in Revelation. But it said, Come, my people, enter thou into thy chambers. Who is this speaking? It's our big brother, Yahweh Shah, our Lord and Savior. First Thessalonians 4 and 17 reads, It say uh, verse 16, First Thessalonians 4 16, For the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of the archangel, and with the trumpet of power, and the dead in Hamashiach shall rise first. The point, for the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of the archangel, saying what? Come, my people. Then we, which are alive and remain, shall be caught up together with him, with them in the clouds, with the chariots, to meet the Lord in the air. And so shall we ever be with the Lord. It said what? Into the clouds, man. Now you can see in this movie right here, they showing you that there's many chariots, right? That's beaming Jacob. But then you got that one big chariot in um the movie um Independence Day one and two, it's Revelation eleven and twelve. It reads because it's about that shout man with the voice of an archangel, Revelation eleven and twelve. It said for the Lord Himself shall descend. Okay, with a shout, with the voice of the archangel. Revelation 11 and 12, and they heard a great voice from heaven saying unto them, come up hither. And they ascended up to heaven in a cloud and their enemies beheld them. What you see the guy did in this movie. He was beheld them getting beamed up. 
In the same hour there was a great in the same hour was there a great earthquake, and the tenth part of the city fell, and then the earthquake was slain seven thousand men. And the earthquake was slain of men seven thousand, and the remnant were frightened and gave glory to the power of heaven. Why? Because they scarcely were saved, man. To my the elect Israel that get salvation. <clears throat> Going back to Isaiah, because it said what? They heard a voice from heaven saying, what? Come up hither, man. Isaiah 26 and 20. It reads, again, come my people. That's, the, that's what they heard. And it, come my people, come up hither. Enter thou into thy chambers and shut thy doors about thee. Hide thyself as it were for a little moment until the indignation be over path, man. And that's, what, and that's what's going to happen, man. It's Revelation 18. I was watching a brother for my account do a video earlier today. I had I had this. I was going to go into this because I want to show. <clears throat> I'm sure a lot of people seen it, but the part, the the, uh, the clip that the brother did, whoever the guy is, that Ezekiel's wheel, man, showing you that it's a gigantic chariot that just hovered out there in space, man, and it's coming. Revelation 18 and 4. So. <clears throat> Watching the brother video, I'm like, I might well go ahead and do mine. Revelation 18 and 4. And I heard another voice from heaven saying, Come out of her, my people, that's going up into the chariots, that ye be not partakers of her sins, and that ye receive none of her plagues. So that's the Lord calling the elect up into the chariots, man. Which is beautiful. This is, uh, I got one too. Hey, cause it tell you that um, what did Elisha say? Let's go back to this real quick. Second Kings two and um eleven. Cause this is what Elisha said. And it came to pass as they went on and talked, that behold, there appeared a chariot of fire, and horses of fire, and parted them both asunder. And Elijah went up by a by a whirlwind into heaven. Now, when you go to Second Maccabee chapter five and one, Antiochus and Epiphany saw the same thing, man. The Second Maccabee chapter five verse one. About the same time, Antiochus prepared his second voyage into Egypt, and then it appeared, and then it happened that through all the cities, for the space of most of forty days. There were seen horsemen running in the air in, in clothing of gold and on with lances like a band of soldiers and troops of horsemen in array. And it's a encountering and running one against another with shaking of shields and multitude of pikes and drawing of swords and casting of darts and glittering of gold ornaments. And harnesses of all sorts. It said gold ornaments. But the scripture tell you. It says, I forgot where it said. In song that. um, The chariots is different colors. Like gold and silver man. Okay. So showing you how. Angelus Epiphany. The Lord had him to see the chariots too man. And as um, as the story goes. When uh, Christopher Columbus. And the conquistador in Spain. I was coming over here man. Okay, they saw chariots too, man. But the scripture tell you, what are they for? To save the Israelites, man. This is um Luke 21 and 27. It reads, And then shall they see the Son of Man coming in a cloud with power and great glory. And when these things begin to come to pass, then look up and lift up your heads, for your redemption draweth nigh. They said, What? And then shall they see the Son of Man coming in a cloud. What cloud? The chariots, man. Psalm 68 and 17, it say, What? The chariots of the Lord are 20,000, even thousands of angels. And how they coming? Like birds flying, man. Isaiah 31 and 5. They coming like birds flying. 
to do what? To deliver Israel, man. As it said, read again, Isaiah 31 and 5. It reads, as birds flying, so will the Lord of hosts defend Jerusalem. Defending also, he will deliver it. And pass it over, he will preserve it. You see, it says birds flying. <clears throat> when you go to Psalm, read again, Psalm 68 and 17. The chariots of power are 20,000, even thousands of angels. So the Lord coming back, what? As birds flying, man. Hey, as the scripture say, like, how do birds fly? They fly in a V formation, man. Okay. Yahweh shot going to be in the front <laughs> and the angels going to be, hey, right behind them, man. Coming in a V formation, man. That's how birds fly. When you look at birds, they fly in a V formation, man. That's how Yahweh shot and the angels coming back in style, man. Beautiful. You just want to go into this. And you know, the brother had to spark me to do this. You know, Lord, when the edifying. You got to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh. Bahashim Yahweh Shah. Bahashim Rikah Quraish. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well, who teach well. And a sincere salutation to all the Akin. Pushing this truth. I'm believing it's true throughout the four winds of the earth, the entire world. We hit up the hopeful elect. Shalom to the Aguaf who are listening and learning, the few sisters who are listening and learning. Lord willing, edify until next time, I say Shalom. Beautiful man. I gotta show this again. Yeah, hey, that chair was beautiful, man. Let me see where was that? Fifty two. Yeah, man. Big cherry, man. Big cherry. Same one we see right here. Coming, man. Coming. Play this again, man. On February the 29th, 2020, Stereo A, one of the cameras that observes the sun, caught this interesting craft in our solar system. Now, the footage was only four seconds long before the cameras malfunction and then guess what started working after this thing passed but please take a look at this this is pretty spectacular you have a shot coming man the heavenly father you is sending his son man hey the angels out there man they stay floating around in space in, in, uh, in chariots, I mean, man. If you just look at the very size of this thing, this thing is huge. You can see the planets lining up next to it, Venus, Earth, Mercury, and this thing is bigger than them. But it's all a perception of distance. This thing could be further away. And if it's further away, this is a really huge ship. And if it's closer, then it's small, but there's something there. It's, it's big. Still big enough to put a few people in, but this thing here, I mean, it's, you can tell this doesn't look like our space station, no. And why would he say a few people can get in it? Hey, man, because, hey, these people know the truth, man. They know. Hey, they know, man. No way. It doesn't look like any satellite that I have seen up in the sky. I mean, this thing, to be honest, when I first saw the footage, I thought of Ezekiel's wheel, and that's what came into my mind. 
and I did look at the pictures of it and it's very similar. This circle with a cross within it. But, you know, look at this video, man. And look at the footage and make of it what you will. But I think this one is pretty spectacular. And NASA's going to have to have some explaining for this one. So, enjoy. Until next time. It is spectacular, man. It's beautiful. Yeah, man. Big cherry, man. And what it is? This right here, man. Hey, what, what they said now, Wisdom of Solomon 5 and 1. Hey, they should be amazed at the strangeness of uh, Israel's salvation, man. Wisdom of Solomon chapter 5 verse 2 When they see it They shall be troubled with terrible fear And shall be amazed At the strangeness of his salvation So far beyond all that they look for You see Yeah man Okay Yeah What does it say Again Wisdom of Solomon 5 and 2 When they see it they shall be troubled with terrible fear and shall be and shall be amazed at the strangers of his salvation so far beyond all that they look for. <clears throat> Revelation 11, 12. What did it say? And their enemies beheld them, man. You see? It's the Lord wouldn't edify, man. Gotta give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh. Bahashim Yahabashah, Bahashim Rika Kodash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well, who teach well. Lord willing, edifying till next time. I say Shalom.